that's right. Okay. Well... Huh. Hey guys, my name's Ian. Welcome back to Ian's Indies. I forgot about the baby crying. Um, I've been doing I'm doing more of this now because I'm actually interested in this story. I'm a little less interested now that I remember the baby crying. I remember why I killed it off last time. Or like I was about the time, but still. Um Let's go. Just run headfirst into it. This is the same thing over and over. Okay, well here's the Okay, I remember. I, remember, I do remember that from yesterday because I. This is the day after. Like I'm recording it the day after, so I do remember things. So that's the same. That's the same. But now, I do remember there being the fence blocking me off. Watching, apparently, my wife have sex with everyone, and now there is a. Okay. Uh, I realized I haven't been doing this very much, so I'm actually gonna start saving every once in a while. Uh. Whoa. Hello. 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 Why are you all here? Are you going to mock me? Tell me how I'm not up for the task? We're here to help you. Okay, so we got the boss, the doctor, Chris, and blonde whoever. I'm trying to remember these names so I don't have to keep looking at my book like I did the first, er, second episode. To provide guidance and opinions. My mouse is on the screen. Damn it, I thought I had everything. I was almost perfect. You're pathetic, Smalling. Letting her go like that. No employee of my... Shut up. To your surprise, the boss actually shuts up. See, Mike? Maybe it's time to stand up for yourself? Wake up. Very important to remember that there are multiple ways for healthy couples like you... Wake up. To get your own brat. Children are a burden. No, they're not. Stop messing... Stop messing with his head. Stop messing with his head. His head is already messed up, as you youngsters would say. Wake up, damn it. Ah. Uh, have you learned anything, Smalling? Do you remember now? No, he doesn't. Wake up. What the hell? I was dreaming? Okay, so that actually was a dream. I thought this game was gonna... Okay. So these are real people. and I, I assume this was all like... Well, I guess I did kind of think it was in his head, but I didn't think all... Oh, okay, anyways. I'm going to stop talking. Wake up, Mike. You're already late for work. You're never late. Are you alright, honey? Arma, is, is that you? Is that really... Is this real? Yes, it's me. What are you doing sleeping in your suit anyway, silly? Irma, I'm so sorry. Irma, I'm so sorry for everything. Please forgive me. What are you talking about? I'm so sorry for what I did. There is no excuse for me. Please, don't leave me again. Mike, we already talked this through. Everything is fine. Come on, I made some coffee. Okay, now what was real? I'm trying to remember how far back that needs to be. Oh, goodness. So, I'm gonna assume that him making that shitty joke was real. About getting it from somewhere else. And, well, obviously him being drunk. I'm assuming one of those two things was the actual thing he's talking about. I had the worst nightmare ever, Irma. I'm so sorry for everything. I acted way out of line. Yeah, okay, I was such a bastard. So this must have been the... Well, actually, I had the other one. Like I said, it's alright. It's in the past. We've already talked this through. Let's not talk about it again, please. Are you sure? I am. Now finish up that coffee. You're very late for work. Oh, uh... I don't want to go there. I want to stay here with you. I wonder how long before it becomes a problem that I quit my job. You've never skipped work, Mike. You can't start now. I'll be here when you come back. I promise. I love you, Irma. I know. Okay, so is she one of those... Mm, she doesn't like to say it back. Now get ready for work, Mike. Okay, so our objective is just to... We have no objective. The, the O button, like, it, very rarely it's just like, okay, you have an objective? Well, not right now. Irma's waiting for me at the front door. Okay. Sure. Uh, so I cannot look at anything else. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. 
Can't even turn off the lights. Uh, oh, okay. Cut into an animation. Uh, where's your car, Mike? I didn't see it out front. It's... It's at work. At work? How did you... It doesn't matter. Come on, I'll drive you. I'll wait for you outside. Smalling, your resignation has been rejected. You're bound to us for our whole eternity. There is no escape. Now get your ass back to work. Okay, so now it's coming into play. Phone shuts down. Your eyes got big. Mike, we have to leave now. He's coming and he's coming fast. What? Who? Mike, listen to me. We don't have much time. We have to leave. Let's go through the back. Huh? Mike. Uh, oh, okay, lead the way. I. He's coming. Who is he? Okay, the backyard is still fucked up. Are we sure we're awake? Mike, what is this? I don't know. Mike, we have to hide. Find us a place to hide. What? You can't find us, Mike. We have to hide. Trust me. I mean... The shed would be... No, it's too obvious. Uh, No way we're both gonna hide under there. Nope, these are not gonna help. Uh, Mike, you need to find this place to hide. I am trying. Uh, the, the plant, yes. No, uh, not the plant. Um... Nope, these are not going to help. Nope, these are not going to help. I have literally looked at absolutely everything here. A chair. It's up in the tree. You say it's too obvious. It's the only option. Oh, I see. Nothing here to hide in. Nothing here to hide in. Okay, I... Uh, maybe not. Uh... Couch behind the couch, nah, too easy. Nothing here to hide in. Nothing here to hide in. Eh. Behind the couch, no, too easy. No, too easy. Why can't you find a place to hide? Behind the couch, no, it's too easy. It's no use, we can't hide anywhere here. Okay, oh, uh, we have to go to the basement. Oh, I didn't realize we had a basement. Since when do we have a basement? Yeah, we have a basement? So it made me search for all that for nothing. Okay. Oh, Blonde... Blonde Tuxedo Man has arrived. Irma, where are you? Uh, Ian, don't follow no signs. What is over here? Oh, I'm following a sign. Never mind. Go against everything I just said. Oh, I, 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 uh, Irma... Oh, someone dropped a key. Uh, no, 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 I have to get this door open. He dropped his keys. Need to find the right one for this door and fast. Mike, help! Key three. God damn it. Four. Fuck. Last one. Eight. For fuck's sake. Key one. Mm, the game knew. The game knew. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Irma. Irma, say something. She can't, Mike. You. I'll fucking kill you. No, you won't. You can't. You try to move, but you are unable to. What did you do to her? What did you do to her? What did you do to her, you fuck? What did you do? I did what I had to. She was being unfaithful. We had to fix it. Mike has split personalities. But he's not blonde. I, the, the, the blonde thing is the only thing that keeps throwing me off. Irma, please, say something. She can't say anything, Mike. Not after what you did. Well, I didn't do anything. You did this. We did it, Mike. What? You did. No. There it is, Mike. And then your lip went up. Now you're finally seeing the truth. You're remembering. It is me. Why was I blonde? What's happening? So that all was me. I was, so I was right. He just didn't remember all this. He doesn't remember having sex with his wife and all that stuff. How did he... Okay. I don't understand how he looked at himself and didn't see himself. What did you do? I remember everything. She... She's... 
I'm sorry. You never got out of the door. You, you never went to your mother's. Your sister, that's why she called. She tried to find you. I'm so sorry. Do you remember now? Do you recognize me? Irma. Do you remember what you did? Tell me, Irma. Was there ever another man? Did you ever cheat on me? No. Soon after the doctor told the news, you changed, Mike. Something inside you changed. He started sending me flowers, started calling me, wanted to spice things up. I liked it at first, it was fresh. But as time went on, you started to act odd. It was like you were Mike one day and the next someone else. I was scared. And we both know how that went in the end. Are you real? Is this real? That is up to you to decide, Mike. I cannot say. Why is this here? It's a big shotgun. Mike, I love you from the bottom of my heart. I was willing to spend my entire life with you. I was there when things were bad, and I was there when they were good. And I'm here now. How can I tell that you're you? You can, Mike. Just listen to your heart. But now is not the time. Time to make your decision. You've seen the truth, Mike. Do you trust it? Or do you deny it? Are you ready to take responsibility of your actions? What? Responsibility. Holy shit. Can I... Oh my god, this may require a couple playthroughs if this matters. I mean... What is taking responsibility? Like, just... Finishing out what I did? Like, actually shooting the ghost? If it's not right, I will go back and play the other one. Um, even if it is, I might go back and try it again just to see. So we're going to shoot the ghost and see what happens, because I think that's what they want me to do. I'm sorry, Irma. Oh, yeah, so it's... okay. But I can't trust anything I see in this place. You're not real. Denial. Whoa. Ugh. What? There's someone at the door? Oh, right. I locked that thing after everyone left. It made me feel a bit safer. Never really liked being left alone. I wonder if I heard right. No, there's someone there. Maybe I should get there before it breaks. This is the beginning of the game. We're back at the beginning. Peeking between the door and the frame. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. That scared the shit out of me. You're here now. With us. For whole eternity, she scared the shit out of me, brah. Victim of the earlier hit-and-run incident has been identified as Michael Smalling, a local 39-year-old man. Mr. Smalling was crossing the street when he was hit by a yellow car. He was killed on impact. Yellow car. The suspect was speeding away from the scenes immediately after the collision. After identifying the victim, the police went to inform Mr. Smalling's next of kin, only to discover the suspect's car parked outside the Smalling residence... The suspect herself was found inside and didn't resist the arrest. Is that her sister? She was later identified as the sister of Mr. Smalling's wife. She is now in custody. Mr. Smalling's wife was not present at the residence. After questioning the suspect, the police returned to the Smalling residence with the canine unit, who quickly led the police to the backyard. It was there where a corpse of an unknown female was found buried under the flower bed. The corpse is yet to be identified. We'll let you know when we get more information. Wow. Good job, dude. That... That was shorter than I expected, but it was a roller coaster. So... I guess, yeah, so he ended up having... Split personality disorder. Your eyes are massive, dude. So, wow. So he had split personality disorder and ended up killing his wife but not remembering it. Well, he did a lot of things with his wife and didn't remember it. Going on dates, sending her flowers, uh, having intimate moments, all of it. But got upset closer to the end. 
Holy hell, and I guess just it became too much? Okay, so I'm gonna cut it here, and we're gonna jump back, and we're going to do the other ending where he, um, I guess, takes uh, responsibility for his actions. Thank you. My, uh, you, me, us, all of us. This is gonna take a little while. Drink your coffee faster, I need to shoot myself. I actually wonder if this actually had anything to do with it. Like, you're bound for, bound to us for a whole eternity, there is no escape, you dress back to work. I wonder if giving the letter actually did a damn thing. Like, if I would have just not given him the letter, if this would have, like, obviously this line wouldn't have been here, but what the difference would have been. Like, what does the difference mean? I keep jumping back just because I keep having thoughts and I want to share them with you guys. With this backyard being all screwed up like this, with the bed and the this and that and the other thing and whatever else, I wonder if we're in, like, a coma or something. Because in the ending, we're hit by a car, right? And we're in a hospital and whatever, there's the hospital bed. But this is still in our head because this backyard never did change back. So I wonder... Let's just see what let's see what happens. What what? This is different. It's not giving. I just went straight here. It's not giving me the basement option. What what's going on? Okay, hang on. I may have to just. I may have to search a few things. Hang on. There we go. Okay. So wait a minute, what's... Hang on, I was... Okay, so I was here. What's to the left? Oh, okay, it just loops around. Let's see if it's different. Is it just the... Nope. Okay, so it... There's 12 keys. Okay, yeah, it, so it's completely random. It's like key 4 or 3 that you pick. Back to button mashing. They did a really good job of making that face creepy, by the way. Like, even to, like, to break the fourth wall again a little bit, like with you guys. When it came up at the end there and she like came and was looking at the screen, like obviously you guys were looking at it. I went silent there. I closed my eyes because I was like, please just go away. I hate looking at that thing. It's not that it scares me, but it's just like unsettling. Well, I guess that counts as scaring me. Back to the decision. So last time we shot the ghost. Ended up scaring the shit out of me, and I had to look at an unsettling corpse of a woman, and I got ran over by her sister. Shoot herself, and see what happens. I love you, Irma. Oh, he's smiling. I love you too, Mike. Oh, she said it! Oh, damn. Now, follow me. Aww. Arden, this is awesome. Victim of the earlier hit and run incident has been identified as Michael Smalling, a 39 year old man from Lions Crossing the Street. The suspect has been. Wait, this is the same thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so yeah, he shot himself, da 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 da. But. The whole game, like, start to finish. Was that his life, like, flashing before his eyes? Like, just before she hit him. And technically, you could count, like, even the gunshot as her slamming into him and killing him because he killed himself. Yeah, and he st they still find the corpse in the backyard. Trom. Wow. Okay. Um. I'm going to take, like, 10 seconds. Uh, we'll jump back to the main screen and I'll finish talking to you guys and end the episode. I just want to check online and make sure that I got the only ending. It's like there's not some other ending by switching some stuff. Okay guys, so I just did a quick check and from what I can tell there isn't anything super major that I missed. So if um, if you want to go back and find uh, other games, or other games, sorry, bleh, the other choices like um, possibly not leaving the note on his desk, or if there's anything else I missed, basically. 
Um, you can go back and download it for yourself. Uh, play through the game. Uh, definitely would recommend it. I know it's a short story game, but it's a totally different experience playing this game for yourself with your headphones on, dark room, all of it. Like, that's what I've got. i got a dark room. I'm alone in a basement, for God's sakes. Well, now I am playing this game, and it's... Like we like you've seen, got a couple of jump scares here and there, but not enough to make the game like, man, it's all jump scares. It's great atmospheric. Like it keeps it creepy without it being horrible. Like to the point where it's like I can't play this. Like some people have trouble with Five Nights at Freddy's when it came out. Definitely give this game a thumbs up. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this series. I've got something else coming out for. I guess we'll call it Ian's Indies. I guess that, that's what the next thing will be. Like, it, obviously, that's what it'll be. Uh, you're going to like it. Only hint I'm going to give on it. Telltale. See you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe. Check out our other stuff if you're new around here. Three Play out.